All right, just a quick one. So uh, this is a, a Microsoft uh, trackball uh, type mouse, and they're getting kind of rare, um, and people tend to swear by them. So I came across this one that was uh, having some problems. You'd plug it in and it worked fine, but over time, uh, the the ball would stop uh, responding to to movement. So you'd be going across the screen, and then the the cursor would just kind of move erratically across the screen and eventually it would just stop stop responding. So uh, you may uh, guess what the problem is. So I've opened this thing up carefully of course and uh, there's only two capacitors in this entire thing. Um, there's this one down here and this one up here. I don't know which one is at fault. Uh, both of the ones in here uh, were uh, Elgen or sorry, El Elgen? Yeah, E-L-G-E-N brand. Never heard of them. Um, full temperature range, but that doesn't mean much. So I uh, just replaced them. Um, you'll notice that those are quite small. These are kind of standard size. Um, this one right here on the bottom board, you can replace it with whatever cap you have. Uh, there's plenty of room in here. However, this one up here, usually it would uh, come out the other side of the board. This is soldered onto the back side uh, because otherwise it'll interfere with this connector. When you put this together, it'll touch. So either you got to find a small one like this, or use a regular size one and just solder it to the back. So I've done that, and uh, it works great. So there you go. Oh, and of course, to open this thing, you actually have to peel off the uh, rubber feet here. What a pain in the butt. But anyway, there's two screws down here under one rubber thing, and then two more up there under another rubber thing.